Hey everybody, Debbie here, Lake House Soapery, and Susie, this soap is for you. This design um, was inspired by your request for Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, so Susie is my sister-in-law, and she is probably the biggest Columbus Blue Jackets fan that I know. Um, they're our local hockey team, and I have been to the Blue Jackets games before, and Hockey is definitely an exciting sport to watch. Um, I've had tickets um, several times and, and our family has been to several of the games. When our kids were growing up in sports, you can work um, in their stands and earn money for your kids' sporting events or cheerleaders or what have you. And We've uh, worked a lot of their events and um, their facility is amazing. Um, and anyway, Susie asked for a Columbus Blue Jackets soap. And I'll insert a picture of their logo so you can see that. And um, I tried to have some same colors of what was on their logo. And um, we had talked about making like what the fragrance oil would be. And I tried several different fragrances. Um, that I thought would be good like ice or wintry and each one that I got in I would smell it and it just cut really wasn't what I was looking for so the fragrance oil that I ended up with is peppermint candy by uh, crafters choice it's just got that cool kind of um, smooth um, scent to it and I really thought that that would be a good combination with the soap um, kind of like magic on ice kind of theme for Columbus Blue Jackets. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut this evening. Um, the top of the bar, I've been loving trying to do some piping on the top of the bar. So I tried some piping on the top of this one. When I originally started off, it wasn't very set up yet. So it didn't hold the peaks as, as good as I wanted it to. But I'm still learning and I think the tops still look really pretty. So um, I um, sprinkled some glitter on the top of it um, from Brambleberry and I also put some Mediterranean sea salts on the top of it. You can't really see them as well I don't think. It's kind of more covered in the glitter and I kind of crushed it a little bit. I wanted it to look kind of like a little icy on top. In hindsight I should have maybe left the pieces a little bit chunkier so you could see them a little bit better but I didn't and this is what we have. So. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'm going to try to take a little smidge off like I always do on the end. Uh, let's see if I can get a teeny tiny piece. That's definitely teeny tiny. I did a drop swirl. So this is going to be a super short video. Um, my husband called in while I was recording and I didn't realize that my camera stopped. Ah! So anyway, um, I figured I would go ahead and insert some still shots. So this is a picture of the top of the soap um, right after I unmolded it. And then uh, here are some pictures of what the bars look like fresh cut. And I love the swirls. Like I said, I did the drop swirl technique and um, I think it turned out really pretty. And this is just kind of showing some of the piping on the top um, as I'm practicing and learning how to do that. Um, Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and post it. I figured Susie might think that it was fun to see how the bars were um, cut. And uh, even though it cut off, I uh, hope she enjoys the video anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's so short. I'll do better next time. Bye.